Hi everyone, I'm Ken with Orion Telescopes and Binoculars, and this is the Orion Space Probe 2 uh, 76 millimeter reflecting telescope, an equatorial reflecting telescope. It's uh, 76 millimeter, that's around 3 inch, um, on top of an equatorial mount that's designed to track along with the Earth's axis of rotation once you've aligned it. So when you're following the moon or planets or whatever object, all you have to do is just twist this knob and it will follow along through the night sky. Um, or you can add a motor drive and keep it centered in the field of view very simply. It comes with two eyepieces, a 25 and a 10 millimeter eyepiece. That's your low power and your medium high power. Um, it comes with a finder scope on the side to help aim it. The tripod comes with an accessory tray here to leave your eyepieces that you're not currently using. Maybe if you've got a Barlow lens or the other eyepiece. If, uh, right now I've got a 25 millimeter in there. I can put the 10 millimeter down here. A scope of this size can see all sorts of things in the night sky, um, primarily moon and planets. You can see the craters on the moon, um, the rings of Saturn, the moons around Jupiter. If you pump in the higher power eyepiece or even add on more magnification, you can see a couple of cloud bands across the, the surface of Jupiter. If you look into the deep sky, um, a 76 millimeter is, uh, it sucks in enough light for the brighter of the deep sky objects. So the uh, Orion Nebula uh, would come out nice and detailed. Uh, Andromeda Galaxy, you'd see a nice oval structure. Any number of star clusters, the, the Pleiades, uh, that's an open star cluster. Uh, M13, the, the globular cluster in Hercules, is very visible with something like this. As long as you can get away from the city lights. If you're in town with all the light pollution, moon and planets look great, but it's a little bit harder to see the deep sky objects. The space probe also comes with the Moon Map 260, which is a pretty handy guide for uh, identifying features and craters on the moon. Uh, when you open it up, you've got the, the face of the moon, and you've actually got two different versions of it. The, um, Correct image, which is what you'd use with a reflector. You just would rotate it around to match up. And on the back is the mirror image, which you would use if you had a refractor or some sort of a Cassegrain. Uh, all of the uh, important big features are listed on the sides, and uh, then they're referenced on the, uh, on the map itself, including craters, mountain ranges. There's also Apollo landing sites. Yeah, a really, a really handy guide for getting to know the moon with your uh, new telescope. All right, well, there you have it. This is the Orion Space Probe 2 76mm equatorial reflector. Thank you very much. Clear skies.